Here's the fastest way I discovered to learn information and then make it practical for you. So one of the biggest problems with the world that we live in today is the massive amount of information. And so a lot of people are like overwhelmed with how do I absorb all this information so that I can make it useful in my life? How do I make it practical? How do I memorize it is really what people are usually asking. And they ask me that all the time too. Elliot, how is it that you memorize all this stuff? How do you know all this stuff? Well, you know, a part of it is that when I put something in my head, if it is not of me, meaning that it's really not resonating, it doesn't go down into my body. And your body is the subconscious. Did you know that? The subconscious mind is down here, right? As we say, you know, feelings, right? Feelings are a part of the subconscious. So you feel, what do you feel? You feel in your body, you don't feel in your head, right? So it's gotta penetrate the heart, it's gotta penetrate the gut. And it only does that when you're receptive. And you're only receptive to things that you're uh, resonant, that you resonate with, right? So the very first thing, before I even go into my method of how I take things in and make it a part of me, is you gotta approach things that you resonate with. A lot of people, they wanna memorize stuff, but it's like stuff that they don't even really like, right? That's why like I failed in school, but I do real well as an adult because I'm not looking into things and studying things and trying to learn things that I don't care about, right? You know, when I was a kid, I did poorly in school. They told me I had attention or deficit or like learning disabilities. I was like, no, I don't have a learning disability. I just didn't want to learn the shit that you were teaching me, <laughs> right? And it's not a disability if I just don't want to do it. If somebody sits in a wheelchair and rolls around because they don't want to walk, it's not really a disability. I just don't want to do it, right? So I didn't want to do it. That's what it was. But you know, as I got older and I discovered like, wow, learning is actually pretty cool. Anything that resonated with me became a part of my unconscious. And when something's in the unconscious, it, you, it comes up, it pops up. That's why y'all have feelings and thoughts sometimes that you don't even know are yours. They're, they're, they're tucked down in there. You're wondering like, why do I feel moody today? Right? Maybe it's what you ate. It also could be just stuff that's hanging out in your body that comes up. It's triggered. Anyway, a little bit of a rant there. So Here's my favorite method for becoming a mini expert in a particular area, right? So in the last video, I talked about how you should read everything that a particular author does. But you know what the coolest thing that some authors do? They do audiobooks. So what I do is if there's a book that I want to know everything about, I want to make it a part of me, the very first thing I do is listen to it. Listening is passive. And so what happens when you... Reading is active, listening is passive. So you want to use both. So what I do is... First of all, I'll listen to a book. Now, when I'm listening to a book, I'm not trying to learn the book. I'm not trying to memorize the book. I just want to know what's in the book. Because later on, I'm going to then go find the book. I'm going to buy the book too. I'm going to go look at the book and then I'm going to find the parts in the book that resonated with me while I was reading it, while I was listening to it, right? So I'm going to go back to the book. I'm going to try to find the things and recall them as I was... How am I, I'm trying to say this. The things that I was listening to, certain things would trigger me. And then when I had the book, when I go get the book, I go look for it in the book, right? Hard way of saying an easy thing. But anyway, the point is, we'll have both. And so I'll go right to that chapter. So like if I listened to a book the other day called Expert Secrets, right? And, uh, and like two thirds of the book was like, eh, eh, eh. But I was listening to it. I listened to it on 1.5. So I'm like, eh, 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 So then when I go to the book, I'm like, I could go right to that chapter and I'm like, ah, this is exactly what I want. Then I read that chapter. And when I read that chapter, I highlight. And then I go back and I listen to the book again because there are gonna be things that when I read it in the book, I realized, oh, I'm missing pieces because I wasn't paying attention because I wasn't interested in it because I didn't see how it fit together. So you're gonna listen again. So I listen to it again. Go back and listen to the book a second time. Therefore, you sort of get the context for the thing that was juicy that you really wanted to, that you went right to the book for. So now the thing that you were excited about, or me, the thing I was excited about that I went to the book for has greater context for it. So then I go and I read that part and I highlight the parts that matter to me the most. And so it's like sort of, it's passive and it's also active. I'm taking it in through my ears, I'm bringing it in through my eyes, and then I'm using my hands to highlight. And usually, especially if it's something that I'm going to be taking action on right away, it becomes a part of me because now I'm going to go do the thing that I just learned, or I'm going to teach the thing I just learned, or I'm going to produce something from what I just consumed. 
So that's an easy, simple, powerful way to learn real quick if you want to be a remaster and teach people for a living, dude. In this crazy age of information, when information isn't king, it, delivery is king. Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off. Realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take back your life, and here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.